Hi guys, this is Dr. Denny Warren with Generations Health and Wellness Center. And in this video, it's kind of a joke, but it's going to help you understand more about how much control and power you have over your genes. So scientists, you know, a lot of times, let me back up, a lot of times you actually hear that a lot of people are sick or they have some illness or disease in their body because it's genetic. Maybe your grandfather had diabetes and, and the mother had diabetes and now you have diabetes. Well, that's something that runs in your family, so it's blamed, oftentimes it's blamed on your genes. Now, the biggest, the biggest misunderstanding that we have is what that is, it's something called familial and not genetic. What familial is, familial means that what runs in families is habits or lifestyle choices. Like your grandfather taught your mom how to eat, how to handle stress, how to deal with stress, to be active or not to be active. Also a thought process or pattern that is either positive or negative. And oftentimes that mother, your mother, might have lived out that life her entire life and taught you the exact same thing. So if grandfather had diabetes, mom lived the same life, she's going to have diabetes. And if you live the same life, chances are you're going to have the exact same thing. Now, that is called familial, that is not called genetic. The reason why genetically we have virtually the same genes, our genes haven't changed in over 40,000 years. Our DNA has not changed. And genetically, if you look at us, we have the same genes. We're 99.99% .99 identical to hunter-gatherers. In fact, from a genetic standpoint, every single person watching this, you are a Stone Age hunter-gatherer. And the reason why that's so important is because when you study hunter-gatherer populations and tribes, they didn't have heart disease, they didn't have diabetes, they didn't have obesity, they didn't have um, autoimmune diseases, they didn't have skin conditions, they had acne, acne or eczema. They had perfectly straight teeth, no crooked teeth at all, no cavities, and didn't even brush or floss. So they, this is your genetic potential because you have the same blueprint that they have. Now the problem is, is we... We use different raw materials than our ancestors did. We eat different food. We don't move or exercise or expend as much energy as they did. We have a different social connection or cooperation in our environment where it's totally different. So here's the, here's the joke. Scientists, this is going to help you understand how truly how much power you have over your genes. Scientists have identified a hangover gene, a hangover gene. So... If you think about it, sometimes you think about it, you know somebody in your life that could get drunk one night, could drink alcohol and get drunk, and then the next day they could wake up and run a 5K, go do some manual labor, go do some yard work. Like nothing ever happened. Like it's no problem at all. That person probably does not have the hangover gene. Okay. Now, for me, I, I don't hardly drink that much at all anymore. Uh, but if I did go to a party in college and I got drunk, then I would be wiped out for the next day. I mean, the, I mean, the entire day, even until dinner time, I'd still feel really, really lousy. So I'm sure that I had either one hangover gene or maybe two from both parents. I probably had two hangover genes that as soon as I drank that alcohol and I got drunk, then the next day was worthless. So here's the thing. You think about that and you think, well, now I can blame all of my hangovers on my parents because it's a genetic it's a genetic disease that I inherited from my parents. I hope, you, I hope you're seeing that I can't blame that on my parents because it wasn't my parents' fault that made me put that toxin into my body that caused my genes to change the expression. So you can either turn your genes on, express your genes, or you can turn your genes off and not express your genes. So by drinking the alcohol, by drinking that toxic alcohol, what was happening is I was turning my hangover gene on, I was expressing it. And by expressing it, I had that horrible hangover the next day. Now, I tell you that because there's genes that are called the breast cancer gene, the heart disease gene, the obesity gene, the diabetes gene. So they've labeled these genes that are being expressed whenever these people have these diseases. But I want you to know is you, you can either express them or not express them based off your lifestyle. And so if you have a healthy lifestyle you can actually turn those genes off. What I encourage you to look up, and I encourage you to learn more, we have resources that we're teaching patients in workshops. Um, there's tons of resources online. There's tons of good books about this. But I encourage you to look up a paleo diet and paleo lifestyle because you have paleo genes. You have hunter-gatherer genes. You have those genetics. And that is the healthiest 
population ever identified in the history of humankind. And it's the, the way we've been living for thousands, if not millions of years, we've been living the one way. And so here's what I want you to know is you have amazing potential to turn on all of the amazing genes in your body, to express health and vitality your entire life until the day that you die and be productive till the day you die. And you can have the ability to turn off those disease-promoting genes, the ones that are the breast cancer genes, the hangover genes, the diabetes genes. You can turn those off and not express those. That's going to give you a better quality and quantity of life and help save you thousands if not millions of dollars treating those illnesses and diseases. So I hope this helps. I hope that this gives you a word or a sense of encouragement about what you have going on. If you have any questions, please, I'm always available. You can always call. You can contact us and we'll, we can talk about it. But have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.